I'm Henry Charlier. I'm a professor here at Boise State University and I'm in the Department of Chemistry and Biochemistry and my training is really in the area of biochemistry and drug design. My uh, research currently focuses on trying to make certain chemotherapy drugs safer to use for case cancer patients. The drugs are generally known as anthracycline drugs. Some trade names would be adriamycin, and they're of the most widely used cancer drugs to date in the United States, treat a wide variety of cancers. The problem with these drugs is that they can cause heart failure after some, some uh, exposure to these drugs, and obviously that's a problem if you're trying to help a patient survive cancer. So the research that we do specifically targets that cardiotoxicity it's known as, and we want to come up with methods and drugs that could circumvent that and lower the risk of, of the heart failure associated with this treatment. In doing that, we anticipate that we'll be able to extend the use of these cancer drugs so that they could be used for a greater duration during the time of treatment. Currently, once a patient reaches a certain level of treatment, they have to stop because the risk of heart failure is too great. We've discovered two classes of drugs that can actually help in this area. Specifically, uh, they target an enzyme that we study that is known to metabolize that cancer drug. And when that works on that cancer drug, it converts it to a new compound that no longer can kill cancer cells and actually has been linked directly to the heart problems. So we want to prevent that from happening. And to that end, we have discovered about 27 new inhibitors to stop that enzyme from working. And of those, we've been able to uh, obtain patents for two of those. One, one of them is triclosan. It's actually a, already a, a compound that's used commonly to treat prevent infection. You find it in mouthwash and, and uh, toothpaste, it's so, so it's already available that way. Um, but it's not been used internally and it hasn't been shown to do what we're showing it to do. That is to stop this enzyme from working and potentially prevent that heart failure. The other class of compounds that we have a, a patent on, are, are there is no common name for them. They're, they're known as cyanooxymes and these compounds work much in the same way as triclosan. It's just a different, uh, they're different in structure. So thank you for your time and hearing what I have to say. Again, my name is Henry Charlier and I am a professor here at Boise State. If you wanna learn more about these patents that I spoke of or this technology, please contact Mary Givens at Boise State University.